functionality of the Nokia 6260. This is the main screen of the phone. In order to create the message, you must go to the message function just spot the main menu. So we simply have to press the menu button in order to go to the main menu. Then click the messaging menu. In the messaging menu, we can create the text message by clicking new message, then the text message. We can either type the number first, add the recipient, then the text, or if you click the text first, and click add the recipient in the options menu, then we click send if you're finished. Now let's go to the calling function. The Nokia 6260 is a multitasking phone, so you can simply hold the new button, then choose telephone to go to the main screen again. In the main screen, you can either type the number or you can go to the contacts, contacts menu by clicking the center button, then choose the person you want to contact with, then click the call button if you're finished. In taking pictures, you just have to flip the phone either towards yourself or in front of you. In taking control of your music player, simply go to the menu again. Then click the gallery. You can see you can see different folders here where you can organize your files. In my case, I put in my memory card. So we have to click sound clips, MP3 sounds, then choose the song you want to play. Let's play a song. Isn't that easy? Now check it again next time for another episode of the Nokia Assistant Person. Bye! user assistance group and I am your user assistant person and I am here to demonstrate to you Sony Ericsson's K759. This is Sony Ericsson's K759 and it is one of its latest models. Now, let us take some claims about its certain features and functionalities. In order to create a message, just press the joystick and then you will see the mail icon. Now you are now ready to create a message. Now just click this button then click right new and then the next message. Now, create your message. After you have created your message, you can now send this. Just enter the phone number and then click send. In order to make a call, you can either type the phone number of the person you've called and press the joystick. You can also search the phone number from the contacts by scrolling the joystick down. Then you can choose or find the person you call and then press the joystick again. Now you can make the call. Most of us are fond of taking pictures. In order to take some pictures using this camera, you just need to select the lens cover located at the back of the phone. And then now you can now take some pictures. In order to take some pictures, just press this button located at the side of the cell phone. One of the advanced features of this phone is the media player. In order to play some music, you need to press the joystick. And then go to the media player. In order to listen to the songs in the cell phone, you need to go to the music and click this button. Now we can already listen to the music in the cell phone by clicking this button. So now let's try it. So now the song is being played. That's all folks. So see you again next time. Samsung User Assistance Group. I am your user assistant person, and I'm here to demonstrate the features and functionality of the Samsung T510. Introducing Samsung T510. To use the phone, just slide up and to text, click on menu, choose the mail box icon, choose create new messages, text message, the text message. To send a message, click options, choose send only, and the desired signal. Number. And choose send. To call on someone, just type his or her number. And click on the button. Or if you want to call someone within your contacts, just click on the contacts. Then choose the name of the person you want to call. Then click on the call button. To use the phone.
phones can come down. Just slide it and click on the card button on the side. Then to take the picture, just click on the button. To use an empty picture, go to menu, choose applications, then click on empty picture. Play the song. Now that's what they call beauty its functionality.